This is Bernard Hopkins. This is Perfect Execution. The importance of pad work is actually one of the most significant part of training. Because of the combinations and because of the pad work itself, it, it actually curates um, a vision of what you need to work on when you're fighting your, your, your opponent. Um, and knowing that you have a pad work schedule, you'll be able to work on say the right hand, say the jab, say as we spoke about earlier, the all above, jab, right hand, and left hook. That's the significance of pad work is to work on combinations that going to be used when you fight your opponent and also um, making the punches be accurate based on the pad man who's the trainer who would, who would inform you that you need to continue to sharpen, punch harder, take some of the power off, let it flow. He'd be able to instruct you on how the pad work is filling and what the punches are coming accurately, accuracy towards the pad. So the pad work is important for all those above uh, reasons. Phase one of pad work, the jab. The importance of the jab with the, pad work. The, the important of the jab, uh, the, the pad work, is because the pad man can position the pad anywhere he wants to, and you have to find that with the jab. It can be on his body, it can be up, it can be down, it can be sideways, it can be left, it can be right. Hey, it could be anywhere the pad man wants to pit the pad for you to hit. And those positionings is not normally with the pad man let you know where it's gonna be. You have to find that with instincts, accuracy, and then connection. Phase two with the pad work, one, two combinations with the pad work. One, two combination, jab, Right hand, left hook, the jab upstairs, right hand down the pipe, left hook to the liver or kidney, normally spells, uh, spells night, night. So those three punch combination uh, of the pad work, hitting the pads, is the basic one, two, three combination that normally um, sets the tone of, of any fight. And if you can continue to keep that up with other combinations, um, that's a big part of a strategy to win a fight. And it's the basic respected punch in boxing. Jab, right hand, left foot. It's called a three punch, one, two, three punch. Okay. Phase three of pad work, body work. The importance of body work off the pads. Well, kill the body, the head will fall. The body, is where most of important organs are covered in the body. You must hit the body to kill the head. And so when you beat the body, the center of the body, you break that six foot or however tall or short the person is. If you can get to his body, you can bring his hands down. And when you bring his hands down, his head is exposed and then he is destroyed. Kill the your, body, the head to fall. Some of your most devastating punches have come off the body. You're, you're, you're not gonna tell a Hoya. It was a body punch. Yes, it was. And again, developed from Pavlik. Developed from, from Pavlik, but it also stemmed from a jab leading up uh, to, to that devastating left hook or right hand to the body. Um, that is the process before you get to the body shot. But the body shot is a body that paralyzes you and it shuts circuits down from the waist to the legs. And when that happened, it's a dead man walking. And finally, what not to do with pad work? Uh, Danny brought up a great point, rhythm. You just, again, you want to keep on hitting the pads on a constant pace. You can't drop the hands. You can't drop the hands. You have to have eye and hand coordination with the pad. I call pad work like jumping, because you got two parts working, physically working. Feet, hands, pad work, eye coordination. You, eyes to the pads, see the pads, 
where the pad's going to be without being told. The rhythm of the sound, the sound of a drummer banging the drums is the fighter punching the pads. And if you hear the pads, they make noise when they're being punched. And you can tell without being too experienced that it sounds like a good rhythm because the leather going up against leather is that drum with the drum sticks, which makes a perfect sound. What are the mistakes people make with pad work, Bernard, that you see? Inaccuracy of how to punch the pads and also trying to hit the pads with one punch. The bag is for one punch here, one punch there, but the pads is for combinations of no power, just accuracy and eye and hand coordination. Why would you want to punch the pads like you punch the bag when you got a person holding the pads only for accurate and coordination and accuracy, but not for power? So that's the wrong way to hit the pads, is to hit it one punch after the other. The pads is a, a sister of the speed bag. It is a tool for combinations and repetitious of punches.